Hello, friends of golfers. Eric Solberg, EJS Golf Academy. This is on the takeaway. To me, this is the most important move. To, it starts your golf swing. It sets you in motion for what you're going to do. Rare to find a really good player who has a poor takeaway. Now, I always say this caveat. You may say, well, I know somebody who does. Sure, but is he really consistent? And what is, we always have to find what is really good. Everybody has this thing in their mind that, well, if you're a two handicap, you're really good. I guess it's whatever your standards are, right? But my thing is this consistency is key if you're constantly going like this you have to do more with the club head when it's behind you you're going to have to have probably a higher rate of closure a whole bunch of things are going to be different and most amateurs go like this and then it's back over the top so to me getting the takeaway down started with our body sets everything in motion to work out after that now i feel like i have really good knowledge on this not only that I teach about it all the time, but that I struggle with it. Um, you know, just from doing it for so long growing up um, and not knowing about it when I was young. You know, I used to think we were supposed to whip this thing inside to get started. And I would get way in here and wonder why I couldn't get out. I'd be in the rough back in uh, St. Louis where I grew up and I'd wonder why I can't get out while I was coming into it like this. <laughs> so away from the inside. So I would take inside and come back still inside. I wouldn't go over the top, but still, Going on the top would have helped you with those shots, right? The uh, <coughs> thick, rough shots. So, a bunch of different ways to fix your takeaway, okay? Um, tons of different drills. But what they all revolve around is your body, taking it away, okay? So, great way to feel it is to shove this in your belly, in your arms, and just feel your belly taken away. The, the takeaway isn't to here. Okay, we're going this far, watch. So my hands are probably a little bit right over my right, from that angle it's gonna be hard to tell, but if you look here, let's see. Probably over my right thigh about, right? Both me about three feet, my hand about a foot. But I have to start it with my body. Now, so I, I, everybody's gonna feel something a little different, okay? Where you feel it. You know, like I always laugh when I hear something like, oh, take it away with your core. I'm like, wow, that's a lot, that's from here to here. So. You gotta identify where in your core, not just your core, okay? Um, so this this is, those are, you know, what I call kind of static drills. You know, you also have another favorite of mine where you just grab it with your um, lead hand. You can just put your arm here. I mean, you can even put it behind you, but like another good way, I'll show you another good way to do this, but just practice going like this. So your hand's getting a little bit closer to you. If you notice the butt is coming kind of in, the club's going out. See that? So I don't, I'm not just using my arm here. I'm turning. Watch my body. I feel like this thing follows my body. Almost like there's a... If I start it like this, like a whip, okay? So it's like, if it's here, it doesn't move kind of until this body gets going, okay? Um, my favorite live one for this, and favorite way to hit balls when you're working on this is this is you get it set up like normal right and then just get your club out here turn it to here start your back swing and you're going to notice if you took take this way with your body you're going to be here every time look where i am i couldn't be more perfect could i and i didn't try to do anything special i just turned my body so here i get over the ball ready to go and i just push everything forward oops right there again huh <laughs> i mean it, it's absolutely amazing to me how every time you nail it. Okay, I just, I'm gonna check my show song. Um, so that's a great way to hit balls, okay? So one way I see that drill going wrong is, uh, sorry if I'm weak sounding, never I'm getting over a cold, um, is that even though they're, they'll go, okay, I'm ready to hit the ball, right? Or, you know, set up, they'll kind of go like this or something. They'll go. You gotta stay in, so I'm in posture now, right? And you just move it forward. So you're like this, I'm in posture, I'm ready to hit if this is yours. My head stays where it's at. You should feel your body getting really tight, like this is almost hard to do. If, it, if it's easy and no tension, something's wrong, okay? But get it out here a little bit and then get your body moving and guess what, it's gonna be right here every time, okay? So why is the takeaway so important? simple because what we start doing 
it starts going throughout the whole swing other way. You know how they, there's 10 positions of swing, like P1 through P10, right? P1 through P10. So what you start to do on the way to P2 is gonna go throughout the swing, right? So we set a chain action of events, chain reaction of events by how we start. So to me, you know, I think the backswing is super important. A lot of people will say, backswing doesn't matter. And then they love to say to you, how often do you hit, hit, hit the ball in your backswing? It's like, usually they're coming back and like, I don't know, I, thank God I haven't yet, but I know I need a good windup to hit that ball hard, right? So yeah, impact is number one, but guess what I can do? I have 0.2 to 0.25 seconds from top to the ball. I have 0.8 about to get to the top. So I have a little time, right? It's not a lot, but I can set this up nicely. So if I can get up there and get nice and like wound up real tight up here, then guess what? I'm gonna unwind nicely, okay? So that's why it's just so important for us to have it where we are set up in the takeaway to backswing to the top that we are in a chain reaction event. Most people are working really hard because they've messed up everything down here, and then they're at the top in some funky position or whatever it is, and they're trying to figure out what to do. So I want to show you one more thing to take away. Another great way to do this. This is a great way to hit balls too. So I want you just to get set up, both hands on it. We're going to take this hand off. I know it's probably going to be about right here. Put it in here, and then boom, and then you can hit. Okay, so find out where your right hand needs to be. Now the other key I want to show you is this, this view right here. Where are my hands? They're in front of my chest, right? Not back here, not out here. No, they are right here. So when I'm at P3, arm parallel to the ground, guess what? My hands are in front of my chest. Give me a good chance from there to wind up nicely. So. I see most people getting this thing sucked in way behind them and they're in such trouble. Um, it's not as often I see it outside, um, but it's usually the you know, whip inside and then they're, you know, something, I don't know, in here, that hurts my shoulder when you're doing it. And I tell everybody, you can do that now. I don't know what you're gonna feel like in 20 years, but you never know. Everybody's different, their bodies may handle it fine. So, takeaway, super important. I gave you a few drills. Um, to work on it with. I'd work on the static ones quite a bit to get the feeling. And then I would try to transfer it to the, this you know, dynamic where you know you're like here every time. And then I would have, a, I have mirrors. So I guess it, you're probably like, what are you looking at all the time? You got a mirror there, a mirror here. So I have that way and you guys need some mirrors too so you can check. So how, how else without feedback you know if you're doing it right? Like, those of you who've been following me over the years, you'll know that I say, if you're not using any feedback, you're just exercising. And that's not a critique of anybody, okay? That's just the truth. Because how do you know if you're doing it right? You can't count on feels. Feels, they're not real most of the time. We're feeling something totally different. So you have to have a form of feedback. If you don't have this mirror set up, mirrors are cheap. If you don't have a mirror set up like this, everybody has a phone. Tripods, I think, are, I mean, you can get a tripod for 20, 15, or 20 bucks on Amazon, and then you just check it. All my students get the OnForm app with me, and, you know, they get the free, I, I pay for it, so they get the library, it uploads everything to the cloud for them, but the camera app is just beautiful. They can store all their stuff in the library in there, but just, you know, that way you're checking it. You do it once, if you don't have this, this and you just have your camera, then you would, you know, with that, you go up and go, okay, now I want to check, I'm at P3. Where are my hands? Are they here, here, here? So if I'm back here, go, oh, geez, I need to fix this. But then you can start to get aware of where, what does it look like they should be at. What you're really going to notice is that, you know, we're here. Your hands are moving more kind of like out this way, not this way. So that's with a nice, like, here. If that makes sense. And just doing it, doing it slow mo is the way to do it. We learn better in slow motion. We don't learn at full speed. Why? Because we're in reaction. So that's why if you're making a big swing change, let's say you get whatever it is right one time, you go, okay, I'm gonna try full. It's not gonna transfer because your mind's always gonna revert back to the other one. So 
any questions? I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to add to the takeaway. Um, I think that's it. I mean, I, there, I have tons more drills if you look through my stuff on how to, how to do the takeaway, what to do. Um, you know, thoughts. Let's talk about a quick thought of it. So I'm standing over the ball and I want to go, what am I going to do here? I got the club face here. I'm going to keep the club face staring at the ball longer. Okay. So if you roll it open, it's not looking at the ball at all. So I'm here, look, club face, look at that ball. Okay, that's one other way to think of it. How do I get this thing looking at the ball longer? And I'm probably gonna end up something like this, okay? So look at the ball. Um, that's something maybe you could even use while playing, but um, I think another great way, I'll use a water bottle. I don't have any right here with me, but something a little heavier probably, but you can also use a ball, a uh, golf ball. So if I go like this, I like the heaviness of the water bottle, water bottle, but if I'm here, I'm ready to go. I make sure I push this ball for me straight back. So you can think about it, imagine if the water bottle's gonna be a little heavier, but I'm just like, I'm gonna grind up. So it's just something to get that feel of how do I get here? Okay, so water bottles are great. I just did it with a golf ball. You push it straight back every time. If you can do that, you're gonna be off to a pretty good start. Now remember, I see this, I'm gonna add one last thing before we close this up. I see this all the time. So, you know, you get the golfers waggle, they're like this. They're like Justin Thomas, they think they're like, yeah, how is it? how's my takeaway? Looking good, looking good. First off, we shouldn't make a smooth like this and swing anyway with our wrists, so don't rehearse that. Next, what happens if I make this move like this and then watch what happens, I rotate. Oh wait, now I'm club way behind me. So you're not rehearsing anything good when you sit there and just go, okay, I think that's pretty good. I want to get right here. You didn't move your body. You move your body, then you're back here. Now, if you want to do something with your body moving, which I, you know, I think a great one is to get the club up here. This will make it more horizontal and go here. Oh, that's a great feel. Okay. So hopefully that educates you a little bit on it. I have a bunch more. We'll do next, another one next time I'm talking about more of this arm here like if we're doing this right what we should see if we rolled open we'd see a spot right here we don't want to see that so if we mark our arm up it's a good way to uh if we don't see it you know we're doing it right i'll show you next time where to do that that's i think you got enough to practice here so anyways thank you so much for watching i appreciate it um feel free to subscribe to my channel um love to have you and um leave a comment question anything all right. Thanks again. Eric Silver, EJS Golf Academy.